This is a walkthrough of the showroom of the National Taxidermy Competition. It's put on by the National Taxidermy Association and it's held in conjunction with the convention. This is not an official walkthrough, it's just me walking around the showroom and panning around at the mounts. I tried to get them all, but I know I missed some. But regardless, there is a ton of cool mounts in the showroom, so let's check it out. There is a huge variety of fish, mammals, birds, and even crustaceans. This trout here even has hands sculpted in under the fish. How cool is that? This is a black buck and a huge white tail. Another white tail. A pretty life-size white tail. And this is actually one of my personal deer in the showroom. I have two white tail. This one is the shaking head deer. This one's cool. It's a black bobcat, otherwise known as a melanistic bobcat. This colorful bird is a golden pheasant. This year, the NTA was held in Wilmington, Ohio. It changes locations every year, and people from all over the country come to the National Taxidermy Convention. Anyone is able to attend and compete in the competition, too. You don't have to like qualify at a different competition in order to compete. You can compete if you've never competed in a competition before, or if you are like a master of masters, you can compete as well. There's different divisions though, like there's an open division, which is similar to like a professional division, and then there's a division of excellence, which is similar to like a master's division. But it is the national competition, so everything's judged at like a super high level. The guy in the orange and black shirt, that's Rick Crane, he's the fish judge for the competition. And the guy pointing at the deer here, that's Wes Moat, he's the whitetail judge. Not every species has its own judge, but there's just so many whitetail deer in the room that whitetail has its own judge. As you can see around the showroom, there is whitetail everywhere. This one is a cool piece. It's a serval cat. Here's a life-size white wolf. There's like seven judges, one for whitetail, game heads, life-size mammals, birds, fish, there's even judges for the habitat on the mount, so like the greenery, the trees, water scenes, rocks, stuff like that. This one is called a fisher. These animals are so cool. This is one huge looking elk. Super wide. This is an ibex. There's a pretty bobcat and coyote. I come back to those later in the video. This is an axis deer. and a fallow deer. Hey folks. I really liked this one. This is a half life size otter. This one here in the back was cool, one of my favorite whitetail of the show. This bison had a really cool snowy scene.
Check out this beautiful zebra. Like I said, there is a ton of whitetail in this showroom. Fun fact, whitetail deer are the most taxidermied animal in the world. Bringing it back to this life-size coyote, this thing is so pretty. And a mule deer. Back to this turtle, this thing was really cool. It was a really neat display. Another really awesome white tail. And this is a lobster. This thing, so unique, so pretty. I don't even know how they did it. It just blows my mind. There's actually a ton of bobcats at the show too. This bobcat had a mouse in its mouth. And check out this life-size pony. So cool, it has blue eyes too. That little white tail in the back with the blue ribbon on the base, that one is my other white tail in the room. A ringtail cat. So then here are just a few youth mounts. So any taxidermist that is under 18, the pedestal, the table, and then the wall to the left are all youth mounts, I believe. This is a rattlesnake kind of coiled around a bison skull. All right, and check this thing out. I'm pretty sure it's a striped hyena, but I'm actually not even 100% sure. It's super cool and super unique. Super cute flying squirrel. That's Brian Olson, the game head judge, doing a critique on the white horse. All the competitors can have their judge critique the mount after everything's scored and judged. It's one of the main perks of competing because then you can have the judge go over everything with you and kind of tell you like where you need to improve on and what you did well on and just give you pointers for the next mount. There's also a sculpture division, so people can enter like just bronze or marble sculptures too. And here's a baby giraffe. The gal who did the work on this said this was a stillborn death, so it was ethically sourced. So on that note, no, these animals were not killed for the purpose of taxidermy. Taxidermy is typically just the byproduct of something like hunting or like that giraffe being a stillborn death. Just more angles of the zebra. It was so pretty. I love this mount. This was my favorite bird in the showroom. It's a bronze turkey.